Anisha. Today's video is dedicated to all the Hyderabadis out there. I have been to Numaish yesterday and I got pretty good stuff from there. So if you doesn't know what Numaish is, it is an exhibition which is held in Hyderabad for 45 days uh, starting from Jan 1st to February 15th. So this is the last week of this exhibition. The exhibition has got a wide range of clothing, accessories, footwear, bags, uh, jewelry and uh, what not, home decor, crockery, everything you get there. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience of shopping in exhibition. The entry fee for the exhibition is 30 rupees per adult. For children, it's free. And the timings are from 3.30 to uh, 10 o'clock, I guess. But as it is the last week, uh, the exhibition would be open uh, from morning 11 o'clock. So without much blabbering, uh, let me show you what all I have got. So the first thing which I got are the scarves. So uh, there were a wide variety of scarves available there. So this is the first scarf I have got. This is light blue in color and got uh, some floral prints. And it has also got uh, tassels at uh, both the ends. So it is made up of uh, pure cotton. And the other scarf is this uh, so white color scarf with uh, light red, I mean small floral print on this. Even this has tassels on the ends. So the price of each scarf is 100 rupees. The next things which I got are Kalamkari tops. We know that Kalamkari print is uh, all in 20s days. So me and my friend got two Kalamkari tops. Uh, this is the first one. So this is a kind of anarkali model. On the top till the waist, it is plain with a simple patch over here. And at the bottom, it has got all the Kalamkari uh, flamingo print. So this is the first top. And the second top is this, which is uh, a quite opposite to that uh, it has got the kalamkari print on the top and bottom is plain so it is even it is of this anarkali model it has got a nice play too and uh, so this is the next top and the, at the bottom you have this kalamkari border the prices they quoted for this top was 700 but we got them each at 550 rupees also i bought a kalamkari waist jacket this looks something like this. This is black in color with a print of uh, musical instruments on it. So it has a very uh, deep neck at the back. And at the front it has got this crisscross pattern with which we can uh, loosen it or tighten. So this is my next buy. The price of this is 250 rupees. So those were all for the clothing items. Now coming to the accessories. Uh, this is my first buy. I bought this outside the exhibition. Even outside the exhibition, we have some stalls and they have some pretty good deals. So this is the first neck piece which I have got. This has got very nice locket. This kind of uh, neck pieces go very well with the, you know, ethnic wear, especially plain saris or kalankari saris. So I bought this. Actually, I bought two, one for my friend and one for me. The other one is missing somewhere. So uh, same kind with a different color combination. The price of this is 100 and it is a fixed price outside the exhibition. So this is the other neck piece which I have got outside the exhibition. This is of very lightweight and uh, of black metal. The cost of this is also 100 rupees. The next piece which I bought is this uh, beautiful neck piece which has this spike type of detailing. This is also for 100 rupees and it is available in gold color also but I like the silver one uh, more than the gold one so I bought this uh, silver one. The last neck piece which I bought is long layered chain. This also I bought outside the exhibition. The price of this is also 100 rupees. So it has got this star uh, lockets for each chain. I thought this would go very well with the western wear, so I just bought it. So the first pair of earrings are this beautiful cute uh, flower earrings. These are really very pretty and these are made up of cloth. The price of these earrings are 50 rupees. So the next pair of earrings are this beautiful tassel earrings in white and green color. There are different colors available and I chose these two. The price which he quoted was around 150 rupees and I got them for 60 each. So these are my next pair of earrings. The next pair of earrings are this uh, two uh, metal earrings which are of uh, Chan Valley model. They have mirror detailing in the middle and this is two tired and this is a single tire with a big Chanbali thing. The price which he quoted for this was 150 and this was 180. 
uh, and we paid at 250 for both of them and these are my last pair of earrings I also bought a headgear uh, with multicolor flowers I don't know when I'll be using it but I liked it and just got it the price of this is 50 rupees fixed coming to the home decor section we did not shop much for uh, home decor but uh, my friend bought this uh, pair of home decor thing uh, which we, we can you know hang uh, at our doors on both sides it has got this uh, elephant detailing so the price which she quoted was 350 per pair but we just got them for 100 rupees this we got them uh, outside the exhibition and the best thing about this is these are non-breakable you can just they doesn't break so i think this is a very good buy for 100 rupees and coming to the footwear i did not shop much for the footwear uh, uh, but i'll show you what i got so these are the pair of footwear which i got uh, these are of Rajasthani, you know, kind of model, and uh, it has got thread work all over it, and this goes very well with ethnic wares. The price of this was two hundred rupees. And the final part of the haul are bags. I bought two bags. Let me show them to you. So the first one is this beautiful, stunning party wear bag uh, or a clutch. You can just car carry it in your hand like this or like this, or it has also got chain. So you can just wear it like a sling also. This is very nice and very gorgeous. I bought it outside the exhibition and the price of this is 200 rupees. So this is the first item in the handbag section. Coming to the last item, I just bought only two bags. The next bag is this handbag in a bright blue color. I am not a handbag person. I never carry handbags. I, I should say that this is my first ever handbag which I got. No, this is my second ever handbag which I got. I have only one handbag with me I which I seldom use so I don't know I was just fascinated by its color and just bought it so it has this flap like thing uh, with a metal over here which opens like this and it has a zipper here and it is really very spacious it's very big and spacious so it has also got this attachment so that you can make it long if you don't like it to carry as a handbag uh, that is the best part which I like and it has got uh, two more I mean two more partitions in the middle so yeah this was my next buy coming to the price of this he, he quoted around 1350 or 1150 I don't remember exactly but I just paid 500 rupees for this bag I think that is a steal for such a kind of bag so these are all what I got from the exhibition I would like to share some tips if you want to go for uh, exhibition in this way so the first and foremost thing is reach there early so that you get so much time to explore uh, frankly speaking you cannot explore whole of the exhibition in one go so it's better to reach early so, you, so that you can explore many shops and lanes in the exhibition the second thing is buggy they will definitely quote the prices which are twice or thrice the original price of the uh, items try bargaining it if you don't get that in that shop go to a different shop just explore and you will definitely get them for a reasonable price and the third tip is uh, don't just go uh, along the lanes just try exploring the sub lanes they also have some amazing stuff and they definitely quote you uh, a better price than the prices available on the main lanes explore the sub lanes in the exhibition so that you can get the items for a better price the fourth thing is carry water bottle and some snacks because the food courts there are always very crowded so it is better to have uh, uh, water and some snacks handy and the first point is uh, carry some liquid cash most of the stalls they doesn't accept cards or paytm so it's better you carry a liquid cash though you have atms inside the exhibition they are really very crowded and the queues are very long so it's better you carry liquid cash with you and the sixth thing is uh, wear comfortable clothes uh, especially footwear uh, give importance to comfort rather than style because you need to walk a lot in the exhibition and if your footwear are not comfortable you are going to suffer yeah those are the things which you need to keep in your mind while going for shopping in exhibition so that's all for this video hope you like this video if so please click on the like button share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos